Hello friends, how are you all doing? I hope each and every one of you are in best of your health. Welcome to our channel, Plants, Crochet, Cooking and More. Today we are going to do something very different. Today we will be making a makeup pouch for ourselves. So let us begin. So here I'm taking number 10 hook as my yarn is a bit thicker and then we'll chain 7. After chaining 7 we'll chain 1 and do single crochet till the end of this chain. It is better to keep uh, counting the chains so that we avoid making the mistake of missing out the chain. Now we are close to the end of this particular row. Again chain 1 and start off again with a single crochet. Now the pouch that we are making is of a standard size. If you wish to make a bigger one then you need to uh, make this rib longer then you'll uh, be able to get the bigger base and that way the size of your pouch will also increase for this particular pouch I have chained seven and we'll make a long uh, ribbon sort of by making 34 rows or if you wish to count uh, if you wish to measure the work that you have done it has to be around 20 centimeter in length once you get that length then we'll move on to the next part of our project that is we'll now start off working on the sides of the ribbon that we have made we'll uh, make single crochet all across the side of the ribbon and when we reach the ends the four corners in that part we are going to make two single crochet in the same chain space now see one of the corner I'm working now just a minute we are about to reach see in the same gap I made another single crochet that is done to give a, a nice uh, shape to the pouch now once that is done again we'll uh, single crochet all around the ribbon but we are not going to forget to make two single crochet in the same chain space in the four respective corners once we have finished uh, working all around we will start off with the second row but here there is a slight change we are going to work only on the back loop all around the uh, ribbon if you work around the back loop it will give a slight uh, what should I say slight turn to the to the base of the pouch now look at that I have zoomed it will be easy for you to see I am working 
working only on the back loop so that our work does not lie flat it gives a raised sort of effect up to you you may increase or you may decrease the number of uh, lines that you are working or the rows you are working now after that i'll be starting off with the pattern now here i have already introduced the green yarn here in the first row we'll be doing one green stitch then we'll change the yarn and then we are going to make three yellow stitches now while working with this type of pattern we need to carry along the other yarn so we have to tuck it at the back of the work now that's here we need to work three number of uh, single crochet in yellow yarn now i'm changing again to the green yarn because the next step will be a green stitch so that's done now again i'll be changing the yarn to yellow because the very next uh, stitch again has to be in yellow color now one chain in yellow now again change in the yarn color because the next has to be again in green forget to work in the back loop we are only going to work in the back loop now once the green uh, yarn's work is complete we again change the yarn to yellow and then we'll be making three single crochets with yellow color that's number one then it is number 2 and number 3 and now we are not going to complete it with the yellow yarn we are going to change the yarn color to green now the same process will be repeated again that is one green again one single crochet in yellow and again one single crochet in green might be difficult for you to follow what i am saying that is why i am attaching the graph of this particular pattern at the <coughs> end of the video actually i had come across the pattern somewhere from the internet so i liked it and i found it quite easy so i used the pattern so you can check it out there if you follow the pattern it will be easier for you to work now we have completed one row with the green yarn that's number 
then the second stitch in green again working on the back loop and the third one also in green and then we change the color of the yarn to yellow and the third one after that we change the yarn color to green and then we are going to make one single crochet and then again change the yarn color to yellow and work That particular step is complete we move on to the next step stitches you need to work with the particular color so in this particular row we did two single crochet in green one single crochet in yellow again one single crochet in green and one single crochet in yellow and again two single crochet in green that is the sequence now 
please work in the back loop please do not forget to work in the back loop as if you do not work in the back loop our pattern will get distorted already completed more than half of the pattern now we are starting off with a new row and here what we do is we work three single crochet in green Once the three single crochet is done, we are going to change the yarn color to yellow and then work one single crochet in yellow. Again, change the yarn color to green and work one single crochet in green. change the yarn color to yellow and work one single crochet in yellow yes and now we change the yarn color to green again and work three single crochet you need to follow this sequence the pattern already it is looking so nice now we are close to starting off with a new row here what we do is we are going to work with green yarn here we are going to make two single crochet with the green yarn the 
single crochet on the back loop we need to do two single crochet and then we going to change the color to yellow and work two single crochet with the yellow colored yarn we are going to do with the yellow colored yarn after which we are again going to change the yarn color to green and work the next two stitches in a green color that is we are going to do two more single crochet in the green color so the sequence is two single crochet in green again two single crochet in yellow one single crochet in green again two single crochet in yellow and again two single crochet in green please follow the chart Please do not forget to work in the back loop. As I told you, you can increase the size of this pouch by increasing the length of the base of this pouch. If you want a broader base, then you need to take a more number of chains while working. Strip. Now our previous row is complete. We are starting off with our new row. While working for the new row, we have to work one single crochet in green, then change the yarn color. And work three stitches in yellow stitches in yellow we are going to change the color to green and then we are going to work one single crochet in green after which we are changing our color to yellow and working three single crochet after which we are going to work one particular stitch in green yarn so following the same sequence we need to complete the remaining four motifs please keep the tension of your work same A makeup pouch but we can make a pencil case pencil pouches for the children at home 
it will look pretty good follow the same sequence and complete this particular row now uh, work with the green yarn is complete so i am snipping it off so that it becomes easier to work and here i am introducing a new yarn which is red in color on top of the three single crochets in red and the same sequence is repeated five stitches uh, single crochets in red has to be done twice that means for two rows after completing this the next row will also be the repetition of this particular one single crushes in red Now after work 
working seven single crochet in red the next row we are going to do one single crochet in red then one single crochet in yellow again one in red again one in yellow and one in red and one in yellow to understand this properly please follow the chart after completing the last row or the final row we are going to work about five six rounds just with the yellow yarn that is up to you again you may increase or you may decrease the number of rows that you work after the motif is completed As I said earlier, after completing the motif, we are going to work about 5 rows in yellow before we attach the chain to it. Now attaching the chain is simple, we just sew it to it. And I have also shown you how to sew the a zip to the pouch earlier in one of the projects where I have shown how to make a pencil case. I will attach the link for you, your convenience. Well friends, I hope you all will try this out at home. It is a very simple, small project. To try it out, I am sure you will love it. Do not forget to share, subscribe and comment. Do hit the like button if you found the video interesting. If you are new to our channel, do take a moment to subscribe. Stay tuned for more of interesting videos in future. So, till then, keep smiling, be happy and keep watching Plants Crush It Cooking and more. Bye-bye.